Hi guys, I just want to show you guys some of the um, fabric, quilted, quilted fabric uh, cutouts that I embellished. Um, I did a video and showed how I used my placemats from Daiso to cut those on my Vagabond with some of my dies. And um, I went back and I started embellishing some. Um, uh, some of the hearts that I embellished, um, I'm not going to show those until I finish my embellishment book. But uh, let me show you some of the other pieces that I embellished. Like here's one of the mason jars. And what I did was I took some canvas that I had and I stamped on the front. And I used my sewing machine to stitch on there. I've been using my sewing machine. And I stitched that label on the front. And then I added some twine and a little button. And I thought that that turned out really, really cute. Um, I showed this in, in the first video. This is just a little the little um, coin purse that I made and um, I can also put um, um, other you know other things in it as well and then here is another one of the mason jars this one I added um, a little bit of uh, lace eyelet trim at the top and a flower and some twine and I even hung a little key charm there so I thought that one turned out cute as well and then what I did was I went back and my initial um, idea was to take my batting and um, my fabrics that I have and make some cutouts and things and so I started doing that and this is what I started out with and this material I got from um, Neri. Hi Neri and this was some of her Tilda fabric that she was selling and if you go over to her blog um, she may still have more and what I did was I put that batting that I got from Daiso and I cut a um, piece of canvas with one of my dies and stamped on the front delighting the little things added a little button and this actually can become a um, an embellishment to put on a card you know because that sentiment is right there it can be on a, you can put this on a card you can put a couple stick pins in it it's just a really cute little embellishment I thought that turned out really cute and then here's another one this one says ever thank you thankful for you and I just stitched that together as well with some more of that fabric that I got from Neri and Neri is um, DC Scrap and Rooster and I'll put the link to her channel in the description box so if you're looking for some some of this type of shabby uh, fabric you can you can go to her blog so um, so I made that one and then I pulled out some other shabby fabric that I had and I made this one and I just put a little bit of tool and um, a couple flowers and I thought that turned out really cute and that can also go on the front of a card or like I said you could put some stick pens or just you know just stick it in the envelope if you wanted to and just send it to someone like that. I think it's just adorable. And then here's one of the hearts that um, I didn't put in my embellishment book. Um, but here's one that I embellished. And I thought that turned out really cute. I'll be showing my embellishment book probably in the next couple days. Because I've been working on some things to, you know, to fill it. So, and I want the next time I show it, I want it to be completely done. So, but this is one that I, I worked on. And then I also made some really simple uh, note cards. Some little Tilda note cards and from Hobby Lobby I bought a pack of let me see if I see them here I bought a pack of little um, note cards and I don't see them I don't see the rest of the pack right here on my desk but what I did was um, the note cards look like this and they were white with the embellished um, um, the embossed high on the front and I just took um, a picture of Tilda and um, I just Mod podged it onto the front, and I think that turned out really cute. I put some uh, stickles in her hair, like the little um, flowers on her hair, and around the edges. And I just used my pinking shears to cut it out, and I think that turned out just adorable. And here's another one, so cute. It's just a really simple, very simple, guys. I'm on this real simple kick right now, and I think I just want to craft a few things, and I don't have a lot of time. Um, to, to work on a lot of big projects because I'm working on one big project right now and so in between I'm just doing these little these little embellishments so um, anyway I just wanted to share those with you guys oh and also too um, I had picked this up from Marshalls I couldn't find the one that Laura had with the drawers but I even like this one better because I don't have space for that big one um, and I just put my three colored um, button sets that I got from Joann's and I think they look really pretty in there so I got that and then also on the Tilda site um, on Facebook it's called Totally Tilda um, Archie Archana she was selling these cute little um, 
Tilda inspired flower pots filled with all of these wild okra craft flowers. And I purchased one. There's also some little um, organza flowers and some stick pins, like these little crystal stick pins. There's also those in there. And I just think that was just adorable. And so I purchased one. And um, I will put the link to her store as well um, in the description box. So anyway, I just wanted to share those few pretty things. And um, you guys have a great day. I'm going to keep crafting today. And I'm also working on some other things too. So um, anyway, I just want to share those few things. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.